Good morning on this cold and crisp but sunny April morning. It, oh, Margot, it could be a good day. Look at my loaf. Let's cook it. Well, it looks all right. Let's hope it's cooked. Do you bang on the bottom like you do with a sourdough? Filippo, look, I've done a loaf of bread. Real bread. Don't be so rude. I didn't do anything. I know you didn't. I didn't do anything. Oh, that's nice. Well, I don't know. I've had some disasters, Phil. Have Yeah. I don't think it is. How do you know? I don't know. One of those cars is. is. So one of these cars is Tom's. Who's James's son? James is Toby's busy mate, and my brother from another mother. So Tom is. Kate's, Kate and James's son. And Kate is our lovely friend who passed away seven years ago this Christmas. So it's, uh, yeah, we're just probably a little bit more heavily invested emotionally in all of this than perhaps we would have been. So Phil's up here now. He's just setting up the run for the chickens. And I'm altering his curtains because the way he ended up having to fit them, he had to cut a pair or a curtain in half. And the other two are um, a bit long on the door so that when he opens the door, they bag and they drag against the window, which is going to be a bit of a nuisance when it's wet or muddy. So, let's cut that in half. Whoopsie, I've got you propped up on my sewing machine. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna tuck in these raw edges and the sewing machine along them. That'll do the job. I'll go like this. So they're nice and neat. Run the machine along there. And then I need to take up two of them and go then go there he is <laughs> and then go and make bacon and egg sandwiches for everybody which would be nice because I'm hungry really optimistic about that bread looks really good smells amazing I'll report back in a minute excuse the sound of the telly in the background perhaps Done all right, the loaf. Room for improvement, but it's all right, everyone. Tom is in seventh. He was in tenth a second ago. There he is. Oh. That's his team. Well, the other car in the team, but he's a pro. Right way to go about it. Obviously, he kind of needs to do a few years in these in this paddock. I would think to really build up and see what the GT drivers such as. Michael there he is. Find their good. way into Le Mans. That is good, isn't it? They look nice. Ooh. So we've covered these cushions and I'm doing curtains. Why did I leave that one there? Oh, that's the back one, isn't it? I've got to put little eyelets in the curtains. What are you doing? Saw that a wasp. <laughs> I didn't catch it on camera, but I, when I poked my head round, you were jumping about, wafting a cushion <laughs> in the air. <laughs> we're watching a program on how to, how they make crumpets and pancakes in factories. So Toby's just about to explain, and he used the word doobry. No, I said. This is where it's going to get interesting. Yeah, and then you said they use a debris. Yeah, do no depositor. 
Okay, you called it a debrief. Yeah, they're putting the stuff, yeah, yeah, the yeah, depositor, yeah, yeah, yeah. and look, look. That's what mine look like. A million crumpets a year. How many? 432 million. Astonishing. I can't even make six. I like, you should make crumpets. I like crumpets. Well, we made them with Jiggy's recipe a few years ago in lockdown and they were good, but my sourdough ones yesterday were dreadful. Hang on a minute. You didn't get any because they went in the bin. You made sourdough crumpets. Yeah, but they didn't. They were awful, so no one ate them. Not even me. Like nobody even saw them. They they got chucked. Yeah. Listen to Margot. She can't breathe. She's like a pug. It's just when she's lying down. I'm in my decorating clothes. I've. D what are you? What? <laughs> <laughs> I was being quiet. I was trying to be quiet. Okay. okay, why were you looking at me like that? I don't know. What I've done is I've looked at the pattern and I've worked out with the increases that I do not want, how many I need to cast on. I know this looks like gobbledygook, but this is actually um, all the stitch markers. So I'm going to cast on more than before. <laughs> I can't tell you too much. Because I don't know what I'm talking about. Margot's break dogs and I'm um, doing... <laughs> she's, she's still break dancing, so I'll just we'll ignore her. Okay. <laughs> I've just edited yesterday's vlog and it's, um, it's really short, so... I was intending to chat to you about this today, but I'm going to stick it to yesterday's vlog. So what I've done is I've cast on again, same pattern, having removed the short rows. Were they short rows or were they increases? I think they were funny increases. Yeah, they were. They were look, you can see them. There's four increases there, four increases there. And that meant that, that the back rose up like a little hump. So I've omitted those and I've just knitted it along like that. And so far, it matches up with the, um, the width of the neck without the hump raising up at the back. So I think that's resolved the issue with the back. The next thing I need to do, somebody recommended that at this point here, I just keep doing a few more rows so that this will drop down a little bit more. Obviously that means that I need to stop short of a couple of rows here, otherwise this will end up that much longer and that is actually not a bad size but also I need to um, think about it because I'm going to be knitting two sizes down so that I've got this this gauge is actually really nice especially when it's blocked it blooms it's very nice so I'm going to knit two sizes down keep the same needle and I think that that will resolve my body issues. I just need to keep an eye on the arms to make sure that they're not too um, too tight. Because the arms, in comparison to the body of this jumper, are actually well fitting. But I'll, um, I'll fathom that out. I could, of course, find a new pattern but I might be presented with a whole heap of other issues that I'm going to have to get my head around. Whereas with this one, at least I know it's problems and at least I know or I have a plan on what to do to reconcile those problems. So I'm going to stick with this pattern. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. See you tomorrow, everybody. Thank you for being here. And I'm sorry she's so rubbish at catching up with comments on YouTube and on Patreon, but she will be back. Don't you worry. It's just...
I'm very distracting. They want her attention all the time.